notice it's funny because it says that we show his death till he come, which means we are to remember his death. And he says, this do in remembrance of me, which includes his entire life, which includes his birth, life, death, burial, resurrection. And so as we participate, we want to remember the fact, of course, that his death was for our sins and that at the whipping post, he received the stripes, which was for the healing of our body. And that's why he said that his body was broken for us. And so as we participate, and you can go ahead and open everything up. Now, that it is by his stripes that we are healed. So as we take this representation of the bread, Jesus said that, the children, he, first off, he said to pray the Father that he give us our daily bread. And then he said that the children's bread was healing and deliverance. So our daily bread should be healing and deliverance. And his body received the stripes for our healing. And since he is forever striped, then we can be forever healed, which is called divine health. Amen? So as we take this representation of the bread, then let's hold it up and we say, Father, we thank you. And right now, I recognize your body was broken for me. And right now, I receive that. I enter into it. And I believe that by his stripes, I was healed. I am healed. And will remain healed. In Jesus' name. Go ahead and partake. And it said that after he had broken the bread and given it after they had supped, that he took the cup and he said, this is the new covenant, the new testament in my blood. And he said, he tells us that this was given for the remission of sin because without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. So as we participate in the cup, we recognize that this represents the blood it represents our freedom from sin. It represents our freedom from bondage to sin. That we can live above sin. That, we, that the grace of God empowers us to live above sin. And that as we participate, we do show the Lord's death until he come. Which means we recognize that he came, he died, he rose, and that he is coming Again, partake. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the truth, Father, that has been passed down to us that we can know what it means to participate in communion with you. And that, Father, communion is not just an event, but communion is a lifestyle of communing with you recognizing that you dwell us by your spirit, that we are saved, healed, delivered, provided for, taken care of, because you are our Father that also just happens to be God of the entire heaven and earth. And Father, we thank you for it. We praise you for it. We exalt your Son. We glorify your Son. And we thank you for it, for his sacrifice and for the fact that we are enabled to come into your son and into union and communion with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.